I've got a great idea for an app. Sound familiar? Today, we're going to show you how you can turn your idea into a functioning app in no time with the help of Gemini. What do you think, Chris? Sounds like a plan. What are we building? OK, hear me out. I'd like to build a web app that lets me show off some of my favorite restaurants. I think it'd be fun to share with the rest of the team. OK, that's a little random, but sure. How about we build it with Angular and Firebase? Awesome. Let's do it. With managed infrastructure powered by Google Cloud, Firebase is a great choice for our backend. Let's begin by setting up a project in the Firebase console. I'll start by going to Firebase.com. Note that I'm already logged in with my Google account. Clicking on Go to Console will take me to the Firebase console. We'll select Add a Project, and in just a few short steps, we have a new project ready to use. And now we get to the fun part. I don't know exactly how to build this app myself, and it'd sure be nice if I had a Firebase expert at my side who could guide me. Luckily for me, that's exactly what Gemini in Firebase is. Let's see what recommendations Gemini might have. We'll start by opening the Gemini pane by clicking the Gemini icon near the top right of the Firebase console. I want to build a simple Angular web app with Firebase that lets me catalog and share some of my favorite restaurants. How should I build this? And just like that, Gemini's provided a list of helpful step-by-step -step instructions for how to do it. It looks like Gemini suggests using Firestore for Firebase, which sounds about right, but let me double check my understanding about what Firestore is. What is Firestore? Okay, great. Firestore is a flexible and scalable database that's perfect for mobile and web applications. Sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and set up Firestore from the Firebase console. We'll click Create Database, choose a location, and then have the option between starting in production or test mode. We'll start in test mode, which will allow open access to our Firestore data for 30 days, perfect for prototyping our app. We'll need to remember to update our security rules within 30 days to enable long-term client read and write access. After hitting Create, our Firestore database is ready to go. Finally, I want to know how I'm actually going to connect my Angular app to my new Firebase project. Let's ask Gemini. How do I connect my Angular app to my Firebase project? OK, Gemini's provided another set of step-by-step -step instructions. It explains that we'll need to install the Firebase SDK and have a Firebase configuration file in our Angular project, which can be done manually or by using the Firebase CLI. Straightforward enough. One question, though. How do I get my Firebase configuration for my web app? OK, great. Gemini explained how to get our Firebase configuration to add to that configuration file. Let's do that now by registering our web app in the Firebase console. Now that I've registered my app, I want to get the code that I need to access Firestore from my Angular app. Let's try asking Gemini again. What code do I need to access Firestore from my Angular app? Awesome. I'm pleased to see that Gemini provided a step-by-step -step breakdown along with code samples. This is a great starting point. And now that we've got our Firebase project set up properly, thanks to Gemini and Firebase, let's actually get to coding. Over to you, Chris. Thanks, Nathan. Let's do this. To get going quickly, I'm going to use Project IDX to develop in my browser. Project IDX is an AI-assisted workspace for full-stack, multi-platform app development in the cloud. From the starting page, I have several templates to choose from. I'm going to pick the Angular template and give it a name. This setup takes a few minutes to complete, so I'll see you on the other side. All right. On the right side, we have the Angular web preview, and this is the Angular starting app that you might be familiar with. I'm going to open it in a new tab to save some space in our IDE. What we're looking at is our primary app component. If I open index.html, this contains the app root for our app component, and main.ts bootstraps our app component. Finally, let's take a look at our app config. Soon, this will contain our Firebase configuration. I'll take one quick detour here as I install the prettier formatting tool, and that'll save us some time later. I'm going to open the Gemini chat pane from the bottom icon here. The first time I open it, I'm presented with some questions. I'll enable suggestions and code base indexing to improve the responses I get. 
Now, Gemini can do a few things, one of which is describing code in the editor. I can use the chat window on the right or a command menu at the top. It can even assist me with debugging problems. I'll ask Gemini to describe this component. So it's giving me information about the component selector, imports, templates, and other things. Cool. Now let me open a terminal. My IDX workspace comes with some pre-installed tools, such as NPM, the Angular CLI, and the Firebase CLI. I'm going to do a quick Firebase login here for later. Now let's get to coding. First, I'm going to cut out some of the HTML we don't need in our UI. That should simplify things a bit. Nathan, what should the title be? Uh, how about Nathan's Favorite Restaurants? Perfect. And I'll cut out some of these links as well. There, that's looking great. Next, I'm going to install the Angular Fire Firebase SDK. I can use the command ng add angular fire, like so. Or if I need help remembering, I can ask Gemini. When prompted, I'm going to choose to set up Firestore in my app. This will fetch our app config and install Firestore in the app config automatically. All right, now that I've completed the install, I have my Firebase config and Firestore provider installed. Now that we're all set up, let's take a look at connecting to our Firestore database to get the list of restaurants. I'm gonna start by creating a restaurant model that will hold our data. To do that, I'll create a restaurant TS file here. And when the file is created, I'm presented with an option to command I to prompt Gemini. I could write the model myself, but I'll use Gemini to save some time. Create a restaurant interface with fields, name, description, photo URL, website URL, and ID. This is looking good. I'll accept it. Next, I'll use the Angular CLI to generate a service to contain our Firestore logic. I'll inject the Firestore instance in the constructor. Also, I'm going to add the restaurant model here. I'm going to write out the function signature that I want, and to speed this up, I'll use Gemini to fill it in. Looking at this code, the use of observable isn't what I want. I'll ask Gemini not to use RxJS right now. All right, this is looking much better. I'll copy this function here, add some of the imports, and that should do the trick. Next, I'll hop over to our app.component. First, I'll add this Firestore service into the constructor. On init, I'm gonna fetch the set of restaurants and I'm gonna to need to create a field here to hold them. Finally, I'll print the contents to the console so we can verify this is working as expected. Switching to the app, we can see on the right side, I have my restaurant data fetched from Firestore. That's great. Now, how can we actually show the restaurants in the UI for everyone to see? So I know about the Angular Material Design Library. That should work well for this case. For that, I'll need to install the Angular Material Package like so. Now that my package is installed, I'm going to ask Gemini to write me some code. Here's the ng add command from before. I'm gonna copy this card module from Gemini into my component. And I'll copy all of this HTML into our components HTML. There's just one wrinkle here. We haven't imported ng4. Even though it's not showing in the IDE, in the console, you can see that there's an error. I'll add ng4 and ng if here, and that should do the trick. All right, all of our content is on the screen, but these images are a little large. If I apply a little bit of TV magic with the CSS, we can get the app looking just the way we want it. One last thing. I deployed a previous version of this to Firebase Hosting so I can share it with the team. That should do the trick. Amazing, the team is gonna love this. Firebase and Project IDX make it easy to take that idea that you have for an app and make it a reality. 
And now, Gemini is with you at every step of the journey, ready to help you out whenever you have questions and even when you're coding. But Gemini isn't only there to help you build your app, it's also there to help you run your app and make it the best quality it can be. Before we let you go, I wanted to share one more feature that Gemini and Firebase unlocks, AI assistance with Crashlytics. Now, Gemini and Firebase will provide AI-generated insights into Android and iOS crashes and ANRs within the Crashlytics issue details page. These insights include a comprehensive summary of the issue, potential causes, recommended next steps, including code suggestions, and industry best practices. In other words, Gemini and Firebase helps you kickstart your troubleshooting journey and debug your app faster. Check out Gemini and Firebase today inside the Firebase console and Project IDX at idx.dev. Happy, Happy developing. developing.